Hello, we're going to talk about the balance scale. The balance scale is used in baking when we need to measure a unit of an ingredient by weight. If a recipe calls for eight ounces of flour, we don't use a one cup measuring utensil because that doesn't give us a weight. That might give us a mass. And yes, eight ounces is in one liquid measuring cup. It's not the same as eight ounces of flour. We need to find out the actual physical weight. An example, one cup of feathers weighs less than one cup of molasses. So if a recipe calls for eight ounces of feathers, you're gonna have a lot of feathers rather than a small amount of molasses, if that makes sense. So to use our balance scale, it has two parts that are going to hold weight and weight and the ingredient that we're measuring. It also has a built-in weight of 16 ounces before we need to add weight to measure higher amounts. So if we wanted to measure 16 ounces of flour, we bring the weight over to 16, we put our basket on the left side, now we need to counter that weight. And we have special weights, it says oval pan, that we put on this side, that weighs the same amount as the oval pan, so it's balanced. Now it's waiting for us to put 16 ounces into the pan. We see that the scale went down hard. It's not balanced, so we need to remove. Here we can sprinkle in until it is balanced nice and even. Per se that we wanted to use more than one pound. We have weights that specify the weight how much they are. So this one says two pounds. We add it to the right side. This will lift up because we're well under three pounds. It will take two more pounds of flour. balance. The balance scale. 